Greetings, welcome to the ninth Baz tutorial uh, where I'm going to talk a little bit to show you some stuff about routing or routing audio um, and video if we get that far. Uh, just before I get started, there is another tutorial on YouTube with the same um, kinds of ideas on some levels. Uh, on Miss it's either Mrs. Tebow or it's Mr. Stebo. Either way, um, there is a tutorial on here on um, how to use the matrix in Maximus P. So we'll be using the matrix. First off, we need some things to, that we want to send around the place. Um, let's start off with making a new object. Click N on my keyboard and making a new object called um, what? SF Play. Sure. Let's start off with some sound file playback. I'll make a message with M on my keyboard, typing in. I guess we want to open something first. Let's open up our favorite Cherokee.aif. Uh, we can put a comma after that to do more things like loop. Put it into loop mode with loop space one. And then another comma with a one and that should do all of those things. That should first open the file, then a comma, it should loop it with a comma, and then one to actually play it back. Alright, so let's just hook that message up to the inlet of the SF Play, and let's put some, just make some generic effects to send this uh, through. Uh, we can make our old favorite if we make a new object um, with cycle tilde, uh, we'll give it an argument. Uh, 440, why do I keep using that number? Uh, another new object for the multiplier, again this is our ring modulator, that came from an earlier tutorial. We can just multiply our incoming signal by this oscillator and we can stick that out through the DAC if we wanted. Let's just sort of half build this thing as we go. Uh, I'm going to make another, just some kind of generic effect there's something called a comb filter, which we can get by typing in comb tilde. Um, see, it has lots of inlets, which would, in, it would um, imply that it has a lot of arguments you can put in, and it does. So I'm going to get hold get the help on that by holding my Option key or Alt if I was on my PC, and that bring up the help. The only reason I'm bringing up the help is so that I can unlock it to start with, and then copy everything inside there because I can't be bothered to uh, go through what those arguments are right now. So I'll just copy that stuff, paste it in there, and then I've got some ready-made arguments. Uh, I might just change a couple of these to make the comb filter a bit more extreme. This last argument here is feedback. I'll turn that up to 0.9. And this second argument here is the delay time for the comb filter, and I'll make that 10 milliseconds just to make the effect a bit more um, interesting might be the wrong word but okay and then we're going to want somewhere for the signal to go in the end which is going to be I suppose our old favorite the easy DAC all right I'm not going to hook any of these things up directly I'm going to stick them all through something called a matrix tilde so I make a new object and I call it matrix tilde um, we also, yes, as it complains back here in the max window, must specify number of inlets and outlets. Fine. So we'll go back and I'll put in uh, three inlets and three outlets. Which my three inlets, I've only got one thing so far, but we, so we can hook that one up. So the output of that, outlet of that SF play can go to the first inlet on the matrix tilde. Um, this is where my first signal outlet is going to go is to my ring modulator and I can have my second outlet go to my comb filter and I can have my third outlet here go to the, uh, the easy DAC. Now these are the two inlets, where am I going to get those sound from those for those two? Uh, let's just send this stuff back in and it, we could just hook it up with a patch cord but make it look neater. I'm going to use a send tilde. So I'll make a new object with send tilde and just give it some um, name, ring I suppose, since it's a ring modulator and hook that up 
Um, and I need to make something for this comb. Again, I can just duplicate that send and call that send comb. Hook that up. And I need receives on the top, so I can duplicate this up and receive tilde comb. And I also need a receive tilde for my ring. Okay, so these sends and receives are for sending and receiving signals. Uh, you'll find, although I haven't tested that lately, that the S and R, the other non-signal sends and receives, don't work with um, signal. But yeah, they used to for some re weird reason. All right, so I'm going to make some get a. The last thing I want here is a matrix control object. Which is basically a you know a nice graphical way of um, showing what's going on with the matrix. So I'm going to double click and on the third row down in there with the little red dots on the black and white grid that is a matrix control. Um, we want it to be three by three, so I can get the inspector on that by uh, command I or control I on a PC. And we see down here number of columns, let's make that three, and number of rows, so I'm going to make that three rows as well. Okay, so now we've got a three by three matrix, um, so we're controlling three inputs and we're sending an ability to send them out to three different places on the output side of things. Um, there is a fourth outlet on the matrix tilde. Um, it's a list of inlet and outlet gains. Nothing to do with us right now. Okay, um, now assuming my I've clicked this message that says open Cherokee, Scooby, uh, dot a uh, comma, loop one, all that stuff, and I click my easy DAC. The way the matrix control works is these would be inlets coming on down. Um, if you're looking at, at it, like that, that would be the first inlet, that would be the second inlet, that would be the third inlet, and then they go out according to the, um, the, the, uh, the y-axis. So this would be uh, the first outlet, second outlet, third outlet. So if I take my input, which is the first inlet, um, and then I want to stick that out to my third outlet, i.e. straight out through the DAC. Perfect. So we get our sound straight out. Uh, let's say I want my sound to come in and go through the ring modulator, which is the first inlet to the first outlet. And then th this uh, ring comes in on the second inlet. So this is the second inlet. And the third outlet would be the DAC again, the easy DAC. So there it is going through the, um, <coughs> the ring modulator to the DAC. And then we'll just try out that third option, which is I'll send my SF play which is the first inlet here to the third, no, the second outlet, which is the comb filter. And then the third inlet, which is the comb filter. I'll stick that out through the DAC. And there's the um, you can do combinations of things, like I'll take this, uh, in the first input, send it into the first outlet, the second outlet into the, uh, the second inlet into the second outlet, which is the ring modulator now going through the comb and now take the comb filter and stick it out through the DAC. Then you get the combination of those things happening. You can also do feedback using this, um, this combination. So we'll take our input, stick it in through the first outlet, take the ring modulator, stick it in through oh, no, ring modulator, stick it into itself, so that would be the second inlet to the first outlet again. There's the feedback, and then we'd also need to get it out, so that would be the second inlet into the third outlet. Right, so that was a little feedback ring modulation. So, yeah, this is a nice handy way of doing a kind of send anything to anything kind of combination.